today we are going to learn about the U.S. coins. I know, pretty cool, pretty cool. There are six types of U.S. coins. We're going to look at each of the types individually so that no matter what coin somebody shows you, you'll know what kind of coin that is and how much it's worth. We're going to look at the penny, the nickel, the dime, the quarter, the half dollar, and even the dollar coins. Alright, let's fly into our lesson! The first coin is the penny. So what is a penny? Well, the penny is a copper coin with Abraham Lincoln's face on it. Traditionally, pennies feature the Lincoln Memorial on the back. Remember, the Lincoln Memorial is a memorial in honor of Abraham Lincoln. In 2010, they changed the penny to feature the Union Shield on the back instead of the Lincoln Memorial. So, if a penny has the Union Shield on the back, you know it's a newer penny. The penny is worth less than all the other coins. It is worth one cent, which is easy to remember, especially if you're looking at the penny, because on the back of the penny, whether it's an old penny with the Lincoln Memorial or a new penny with the Union Shield, it actually says one cent on the back of the coin. A penny is worth one cent. This is pretty weird. Did you know some people don't like the penny very much and they think we should get rid of the penny? In fact, it costs more to make a penny than it's even worth. So some people say, hey, we're losing money with making these pennies. Maybe we should get rid of the penny. As of today, it costs 1.67 cents to make a penny. That's actually less than it used to be. It used to cost two cents or two pennies just to make one penny. Even though some people want to get rid of the penny, the penny looks like it's here to stay. Ah, the penny. What a wonderful coin. It's got Abraham Lincoln on the front. Older pennies have the Lincoln Memorial, and newer pennies have the Union Shield on the back. They're worth one cent, so they're not worth much. But who hasn't gotten excited finding a nice new shiny penny? Cool! The second coin is the nickel. The nickel is a coin made of both copper and nickel that has Thomas Jefferson on it. Like the penny, the nickel has gone through a change in recent years. It doesn't look the way it has always looked. Traditionally, nickels feature the side of Thomas Jefferson's face. But in 2006, the nickel was changed to show the front of Thomas Jefferson's face instead of just the side. Old nickel, new nickel. Old nickel, new nickel. Old nickel, new nickel. Okay, you get the idea. Unlike the front of the nickel, the back of the nickel has stayed the same through the years. It features Monticello, which was Thomas Jefferson's house. A nickel is worth five cents, which is the same as five pennies. Because remember, a penny is worth one cent. So a nickel, being worth five cents, is worth the same as five pennies. The nickel. It's a coin that's the color silver. It's got a house on the back, which is Monticello. And depending on how old the nickel is, it either just shows the side of Thomas Jefferson's face or the front of Thomas Jefferson's face. And it's worth five cents. Awesome. Well, the third coin is the dime. The dime is a silver-colored coin made of both copper and nickel 
that has President Franklin D. Roosevelt on it. This is pretty interesting. The dime is the smallest size coin. But don't let the size trick you. It's worth more than the nickel and the penny combined. A dime. How much is it worth? Well, a dime is worth 10 cents, which is the same as 10 pennies. Wow, what's easier to carry around? A little dime that's worth 10 cents or 10 pennies? Oh my goodness. The dime, a really small silver colored coin with President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front and on the back, a torch. It's the same as 10 pennies, but it's a lot easier to carry around. At least, <laughs> I would think, right? The dime. Pretty cool. Alright, the fourth coin is the quarter. Alright, well, what is a quarter like? Well, the quarter is a silver-colored coin made of both copper and nickel that has George Washington on it. And yeah, it's a much bigger-sized coin than the dime, that's for sure. The back of a regular quarter has a bald eagle on it. And we say a regular quarter because there are so many quarters that aren't just regular quarters. It's kind of an interesting coin that way. Quarters are cool coins because there are three special quarter collections. The state quarters that have states on the back, the territory quarters that have territories on the back, and America the Beautiful quarters that have different scenes from the United States of America on the back. Here's a fun hint. Even if the back looks different, if it is a silver colored coin with George Washington on it, it is a quarter. You might be wondering, how much is a quarter worth? Well, a quarter is worth 25 cents, which is the same as 25 pennies, because remember, pennies are worth one cent. So imagine what's easier carrying around one quarter or 25 pennies, right? Oh my goodness, quarters are awesome. The quarter is a large silver colored coin with George Washington on the front and a bald eagle on the back. But be careful, there are lots of special edition quarters like state quarters, territory quarters, and America the Beautiful quarters. Just follow our hint and look at the front of the coin to find out if it is a quarter. And remember, the quarter is worth 25 cents, which is the same as 25 pennies. Alright, are you ready for the fifth one? I can't hear you, come on. Okay, alright. The fifth coin is the half dollar. Well, what's the half dollar like? The half dollar is a silver colored coin made of both copper and nickel that has President John F. Kennedy on it. The back of the half dollar features the presidential seal surrounded by 50 stars. What do you think the 50 stars represent? Do you have an idea? Yeah, the 50 states of the United States of America. And remember, there's a bald eagle on the back of a quarter, too. But on the half dollar, that bald eagle, which is part of the presidential seal, is surrounded by stars. So if it's surrounded by stars, you know it's a half dollar. Plus, the back of the coin says half dollar, so that makes it easy, too. You can look high and low for half dollars, but they're pretty rare. In fact, you might not see one for a really long time. One thing you can do is you can go to the bank and take two quarters with you. When you take those two quarters, you can ask if they have any half dollars. And you can trade two quarters for one half dollar. They still make half dollars, but as we said, they're more rare than the quarters, the dimes, the nickels, and the pennies. You might have figured this out already, but it is called a half dollar because you only need two to have a dollar. It only takes two. If you have two half dollars, 
then you have one whole dollar. Well, if that's true, how much is a half dollar worth? Well, the half dollar is worth 50 cents. That's the same as 50 pennies. Whoa! This coin is worth a lot. The half dollar, pretty awesome coin. It's silver colored and has President John F. Kennedy on the front. On the back is the presidential seal surrounded by stars and it's worth 50 cents. Oh my goodness, you only need two of these coins to have a whole dollar, but I wouldn't trade two of them for a dollar because they are rare and when you find a half dollar, Oh my goodness, that's such a treasure, it's so cool! Because they are rare and they are limited, but, oh my goodness, just, oh, I just love the half dollars, the half dollars are awesome! The final coins are the dollar coins. There are two main dollar coins, there's the Sacagawea dollar, and there are the presidential dollars. We're going to look at both of those right now. The Sacagawea dollar, also known as the Golden Dollar, honors the extraordinary Native American woman who helped Lewis and Clark in their expedition out west. The back of the Sacagawea dollar features a bald eagle in flight. What's with these bald eagle coins? It's just an American bird, right? The bald eagle. And so this is another bald eagle coin, but it's golden color. That's why the coin is called the golden dollar. So if you see a golden coin with an eagle on the back, it's a Sacagawea dollar. And finally, the presidential dollars, which celebrate the first 40 presidents of the United States all the way up to Ronald Reagan, from George Washington to Ronald Reagan. Here's one with Gerald Ford on it. Really cool collectible coins that feature the first 40 presidents. Well, what does the back look like? Well, the back of the presidential dollars feature the Statue of Liberty. Really cool. And they all say one dollar on the back, which makes sense because they are dollar coins. The dollar coins. There's two types, right? The Sacagawea dollar, also known as the golden dollar, and the presidential dollars. These are wonderful coins that look really cool. People actually didn't like even buying stuff with them. They just wanted to collect them. But these dollar coins are really neat. You might see one and wonder, what kind of coin is this? And then you'll remember this video and say, hey, this is a dollar coin. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with us and learning about the coins. After this video is done, what you can do is look around for coins. You might have a piggy bank, or there might be a place where you keep your coins, and you can look and see if you can identify them. Well, see you next time.